well, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. So, I just want to, uh, I want to address the black community. Um, and also, I want to address the issues that we as black people face. So basically that's still the same thing as what I just said, addressing the black community. Um, but I do want to address, uh, second thing I want to address is the comments that were made under my recent video uh, concerning Candace Owens. And um, so let's get into it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on the road to 500,000 subscribers. $10,000 giveaway when we reach there. Um, so let's get into this. So, I want to first say this. Um, I am surely, uh, I surely don't, I surely do not play the victim role. Never have I done that. I surely don't play the victim role. Um, that's just not who I am. I don't play the victim role. Uh, I know a lot of people that do love to play victim. Um, and that's that's another thing that happens within the black community. They, the, a lot of us in the black community play victim. Um, that's, that's one thing concerning the Candace Owens situation. Two, when I made the video, I was clearly stating how I felt from her comments, okay? If I wanted to bring out the receipts and the facts um, of, you know, how I was feeling, um, I would have done that, you know, because I believe that, you know, if you're gonna come against what somebody is saying, then you know, you you know, you should have some receipts, you know, especially um, if there are receipts to be proven. Um, but in that video, I was just simply stating my opinion, and again, you know, you know, expressing my emotions to what she said. And again, if I wanted to bring receipts. Um, I would have because I am a person that I do my research. I do my research. Um, just before I let anything come out of my mouth, I do my research. Um, if you know me, then you know that. Um, so I give a pass to the people that's in the comment section that don't know that about me. I do my research. So I give, I give you a pass. Um, also, I want to let you all know that all of your insults, I take them as compliments, um, simply because your words uh, do not hurt me. Because um, again, I've been insulted all my life. Um, <clears throat> so, the little comments that you make, uh, just let it flow off my sleeve. Um, the only time I really care about what you say is if um, I care about you enough for me to care about what you say. Um, excuse me. Also, um, and again, I still stand on what I say with Candace. Um, what she said was disrespectful and ignorant. Um, because of the simple fact that you, what you, part of what you said was true. We have to be careful with who we surround ourselves around, who we choose to be around and hang or hang around, um, because we suffer the consequences of our actions. We suffer the consequences. Uh, the things that we do and we suffer the consequences of the people that we hang around. So I get that. 
but to basically insinuate, let me say it like that, but to basically insinuate that she deserved to be killed in the way that she was killed um, is disrespectful um, and insensitive. Uh, it just was. Um, if you know, y'all don't agree. I don't agree. I don't. I really don't care. But what she said um, to to say it at a time like this made it even more insensitive. Um, it made it, you know. I mean, even if she would have said it months later. It would have been insensitive, but to say it at this point in time too, it just it just really really made it more insensitive and more disrespectful than what it already was. Um, <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Um, so as we so as I navigate what I'm about to say into the other topic of addressing the black community. Um, us as the black community, us as black people, we have to stop trying to victimize us. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Our ancestors sat up and they dealt with some things that most of us could not deal with. Yes, our great, 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 great grandparents were slaves and they were owned by white folk. And yes, uh, some of our parents and grandparents, um, great grandparents, you know, depending on what age you had the child, um, had to suffer through the 50s and the 60s. Um, yes, yes, I, I understand all of that, but it's time that us as a black people, we start accepting this word named accountability. It's time for us as black folks to start gaining this thing called common sense because we lack common sense. We do. <laughs> we really do. Black folks lack common sense. Um, it's time that us as black people, we, again, I said in the previous video and I'm going to say it again, it's time that we as black people start to get ourselves together, get ourselves up on top. Uh, everybody say, well, the white man controls how we get there. No, the white man don't control how you get to the top. The white man doesn't control how you get to the top. You yourself control how you get to the top. <laughs> you yourself control how you get to the top. Me, myself, I'm working my way to get to the top. I'm working my way to get to the top. I'm just that type of individual. I'm not going to let somebody keep me at a certain level. No, I'm going to take myself where I need to go. There's a lot of us that should be way up there. But we don't allow ourselves to get there because we allow somebody else to keep us in a certain position. Keep us in that in that level of being comfortable. Oh, I'm comfortable with my income. I'm comfortable in my house. I'm comfortable where I'm at. That's, that, that, that's a problem that we have as black people. Uh, it's a thing. What we there's another thing that black folks have a problem with, and that is not saying anything. Black folks 
have come from the uh, how can I say this black folks have the mentality that <coughs> Jesus black folks have the mentality that oh this is what it says anything that happens in this house stay in this house they come from that mentality that oh we shouldn't say anything because it's going to hurt the next person or we shouldn't say anything because you ain't got no right to say it or we shouldn't say anything because it's nobody's business. And for some stuff, it's nobody's business. Okay, I agree. Some stuff is nobody's business, but we have to come out of that mentality that we should not say anything. It's, again, it's time for black folks to start, to start saying stuff. It's, it's time for black folks to start speaking up and speaking out in the right way, though. A lot of a lot of black folks think that you know looting and you know is going to solve the answer. A lot of black folks think that we have to respond the same way that everybody else is is responding. So if somebody kill us, we have to kill them. That's not the way to go. If the black community, if black people, black people, if we ever want to get somewhere, we have to change the narrative. We have to be the ones that change the narrative. We have to be the ones to get into the polls and vote. Can I say that again? We have to be the ones to be at the polls voting. We have to be the ones that get on social media and voice our opinions, voice our thoughts. We have to be the ones to voice the facts. Because if we don't say anything, then everybody comes out and tells us what the facts are when we really know what the facts are. <laughs> we know what the facts are. We know what the truth is, but guess what? We don't say nothing. See, that starts all in the household. We know that, 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 that Uncle Johnny raped my sister. We, 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 we know... We know what happened, but we know the truth, but we got that mentality that mm -mm, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. It's time for black folks to come from that mentality of not saying anything. It's time for black folks to voice their opinions, voice the truth, voice the facts, whether people agree or not. I've come to that point in my life where I don't care what you say because I know what I'm saying is my opinion uh, and it is the facts. Now, if what I'm saying is not the fact, because I will acknowledge that. I will. I will, I will acknowledge that. See, that's the thing. I, I can hold myself accountable for saying something that's not factual. Unlike a whole lot of other people in this world. But I'm going to say what the facts are. And I'm going to come with the receipts because I do my research and I'm going to say what the truth is. So I want to put this disclaimer out there as I end this video. I'm going to make videos and I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to speak what the truth is and I'm going to come with the receipts. And I'm going to let you know what it is and what it's not. And 
and for the and for the black folks that's you know that grew up on other words i'm gonna let you know what it is and what it ain't plain and simple as that and so to everybody that's in that's in this, that's in the comment section that will probably be in this video and that's in the candace owens video that you know you're making your comments guess what is what you say against mine. I'm not here to force you to believe what I'm saying. So don't sit up here and force me to believe what you're saying. I'm not I'm not I'm not here to make you believe what I'm saying. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Cause see I can present facts and receipts and you still don't believe it and that's okay. That's okay. We gotta we gotta agree to disagree. You have your facts, and I have my facts. But with me having my facts and you having your facts, there's something in between that is the truth. There's something in between that is the truth. And I'm going to be part of of that truth just like you're going to be part of that truth and what I say could be the facts and what you say could be the facts but everything you say may not always be the facts and everything I say may not always be the facts so Thank you all for watching and tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you all. See you all in the next video.